video is made up of red, green, and blue. And in order to create a cool chromatic aberration effect, we can split the red, green, and blue channels. And in order to do that, we want to copy our footage twice. So we'll have three versions of our footage. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this. And the way I'm doing it is by selecting the first video, holding Command or Control on Windows. So Command on Mac, Control on Windows and then selecting C to copy and V to paste. Then we'll just drag those on top of each other, select all videos, go to effects and search for RGB. Now we're looking for color balance RGB. Drop that onto all three video clips and then on the top video, so video layer three, we want red to have a number and then green should be zero and blue should be zero. And we want to change our blending mode in opacity to screen. Now we'll go to video layer two and we want the middle number to have a number, but red and blue should be zero. So green should be a hundred. And again, we'll change the blend mode on opacity to screen. Then we'll go to video layer one and you've probably guessed the pattern now. We want the top to be zero, middle to be zero and bottom to have a number. And this time we are not changing the blend mode. And now you can see we've ended up with our original footage. So in order to activate the chromatic aberration or the RGB split effect, all we need to do is just make a change to one of the channels. So if we go onto video layer three and we push this to the left, you can see that effect is now in place. Alternatively, we could change the position on the other axis. We could increase the scale. And as you can see, that has enabled that chromatic aberration effect. And it's not just the top layer that we can control. We can move the middle layer across and we can also change the bottom layer. So you can see that is our chromatic aberration effect. Now, if you only wanted this on the edges, then I would recommend making another copy, dragging that copy onto the very top. And then you just want to make sure this does not have the color balance effect and it has a normal blend mode. Now we'll go to opacity and select the ellipse mask tool. We'll just expand the size of this ellipse mask so that it fills up the frame as much as possible. Then we'll go ahead and select inverted. Then from there, we'll just go ahead and increase the mask feather. And if you wanted to expand this out, then you can just increase the mask expansion. And now you'll notice you're only getting that chromatic aberration effect on the edges as opposed to the whole frame.